Hello, this time we meet again uh, in uh, HD, high definition. Uh, in the last tutorial we smelled a little the anterior architecture. Uh, if you, let's recap very fast, uh, we have three layers, business logic layer, data access layer and uh, the user interface. Uh, we managed to somehow uh, get information about a user Pr precisely if the username uh, typed in by the final user exists in the database or no. Today we'll try to improve a little our architecture and we will try to make some validation more precisely said we will make a business rule Imagine the following uh, situation. Uh, let me just open the login window. Here the user doesn't uh, input anything and uh, he just presses the login button. In this case the user name is empty that is received here and so we must check it for it and uh, throw an error. Um, this kind of method could use uh, several validation uh, not only that the username shouldn't be empty we could also have uh, the username must have a length of five characters or a password can't be blank and after all the checks are being done uh, we must provide a list of failed checks and, li and this list we must use it in the user interface to inform the user what he has done wrong. It's uh, a little confusing using the user class and the final user. Uh, I hope you understand what I mean. Uh, for each error encountered we will try to store it in a list and to do this we will need to create a new class in here let me just use the data access, the business logic layer add a new class and we will name it business business rule okay let me just get its its, its code and put it in here. Uh, as you can see for this we have uh, several mem members we have a rule type which we will be uh, type of the message can be info me message it could be an error message or it could be a warning message here we have the specific message and uh, the property who who was checked this will be used further uh, in the future to set focus in the user interface to the text box that uh, needs to to be modified to have no uh, errors basically this is the simple class you can see it in here a constructor let me save it say say save it okay uh, let's go back here and see how uh, how to we make validation first of all we must create a new list available publicly so the user interface can see it and uh, I will delete this and uh, update it update it so now uh, we simply check if uh, the username is null or empty and uh, in the business rule list here we add a, three, a new business rule object for each one. In our case it's an error message, usernames cannot be null, cannot be empty and the property that uh, was checked is username. For testing purposes only I added two new messages one warning and one info if 
no uh, broken rule was found uh, we do things as we did before otherwise we return a null object this, uh, this looks uh, very simple till now Uh, in order to be able to use this uh, list of errors in the user interface we must create a generic window, uh, a message window which will uh, simply receive a data source and display it. This window can be uh, instantiated everywhere in the application so all the error messages will use that uh, simple window uh, because I already added it I already created it I don't want to lose too much time with this I'll just add it here okay as you can see here we have a title attention it's uh, in Romanian for attention here we have a list box containing all the messages and uh, a continue button which simply closes this uh, window uh, the we have a collection view source as a window resource message source and uh, as you can see is the item source uh, of the list box let's go into the the code and see how we populate this source uh, because from our from our user business object we receive a text string 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 we need to because I want to have a message window a little bit more beautiful I will do the following thing add a new folder here called images and in it I will add three existing item an error an info and a an warning icons those are simply icons and uh, here we create a new class which will have uh, it looks similar to the to the business rule here but instead of the string error or info we will simply take the image that has the same name and display it this is a public method that receives the list from the user bo and it simply does populate message format with it and in the end we'll simply set the message source source as the final message from here a list of message format the button click just closes it okay this is done now all we have to do go here in code and update the button click method let me delete this one to be <laughs> able to do all in 10 minutes of YouTube okay just one moment and uh, here I add it again so what we do first we just get the username as we did before if the username is not received we check to see if we have uh, uh, broken rules no broken rule here so we just throw a message in other case we instantiate the message window we set its message source and we just show it let me run it fast uh, no message press as you can see very beautiful here we got the three errors and everything is fine this is a little fast i must finish right now i hope you all enjoyed this tutorial see you next time thank you all for watching happy coding